What's going on everybody? I'm the Entertainist and welcome back. Alright, I'm going to do something a little different today, something I've never done, and I'm going to talk about something music related. You know, this being a entertainment based channel, kind of want to cover all the basic entertainment stuff as far as stuff that I'm really into. Music being one of them. I'm a huge music lover, just as much as I am a movie, TV show, video game lover. And you know, uh, I think the best way to kick off a music vlog would be talking about my favorite rapper as well as probably my favorite music artist of all time, Idea. And for those of you who've never heard of him, I am going to go into who he was as a person and, you know, as a music artist. And I'm sure there's a majority of you because he wasn't the most famous rapper, you know, he was more underground. He had a little bit of a name, you know, he wasn't super duper underground, but I'd say he was more like, you know Hobson, how like Hobson is like pretty high up there, but like, you know, he's not nearly as famous as like Future or Chris Brown or Drake or Lil Wayne, you know. And this isn't really going to be like a biography on him, I'm not going to go into the details of like, you know, his his music career from start to finish and you know stuff like that. He's got a documentary for that. This is more of a video of me commemorating him as to how much of a influence he played on me. You know me who used to rap and all how he played an influence on that and how he's just kind of like a role model to me as a person. So let's get into this. Alright now who was Idea? Idea was a rapper who was in his prime around the late 90s to the early to mid 2000s. He passed away October 16, 2010, unfortunately. I discovered him well after that. I probably discovered him five years after his death. And how I found him was uh, one day my rap group and I were just like looking at different freestyle videos and my one buddy who was in my rap group shows me this freestyle with Slug from Atmosphere, another pretty popular group, still makes music to this day, and we look up this Slug and Idea freestyle. None of us have ever heard of Idea. We were mostly looking for just a Slug freestyle, because he was a big fan of Slug, and he wanted to show us this freestyle. And they were on Sway in the Morning. So Idea spits first. None of us have ever heard of him. And the second he started, you know, like a minute into his verse, we were all just pretty shook by pretty shook by it because you know it's it's crazy how he can spit it's kind of like when Eminem freestyles like it's all it's like how does somebody come up with this shit on the top of their head I can't even write this down on paper I can't even think of like half the shit they say to write down on paper granted they are they've been doing this longer than me and they are famous for that reason like it's why they got known but it's just the fact that like that, that's a talent right there. Like, that is a talent to be able to come up with these metaphors that make sense are, and are on point and they rhyme and you have a flow and rhyme scheme to go with it all on the top of your head without even thinking about it. I'm going to show you a little clip right now from that freestyle. MCs is just comedians flowing the wrong side of the media And I be beating them, feeding them MCs ain't proceeding When it's time for me to feed they mind Beat they rhymes until they got a bleeding spine Ideas defined as the dopest rapper in the world Go and ask your God and your favorite religion When I blaze the issues tripping Like how is he doing it off the top? MCs don't know I rock every time I get my props I used to carry nothing in my socks Cause I've been broke until last year That's when I stopped touring with atmosphere You see what I mean? That shit's fucking crazy. When I first heard that, I was like, oh my god, I've never heard somebody freestyle like that. And yeah, he's definitely up to par with Eminem, as you know, some people agree on. In my opinion, I think he's a little bit better than Eminem. That's not me bashing Eminem in any way. I love Eminem. I'm a big fan of old Eminem, Slim Shady. But this guy definitely spoke to me more as an artist. That's just my personal opinion. It's just the way, the way he freestyles, like, you know, he has so much confidence, and every freestyle I've heard after that, he, it's like, it's like this guy has endless rhymes, it's like, he was born rhyming, he was just ahead of his time, and he was put on this earth to do the exact thing that he did. Next I want to get into his battling, because Idea was mostly known for his battling. He was in something that was big in the, you know, 90s to 2000s called Scribble Jam. Scribble Jam was a freestyle contest, or sorry, um, a rap battle contest that was huge back in the day where, you know, people tried to get a name for themselves. And Idea, 
He didn't win every single time, but he won a majority of them, won a majority of the battles. He lost a couple battles here and there, but I think the overall contest, he won both times he was there. But any time, even the ones he lost, any time he went up there, he roasted the fuck out of them. I'm gonna show you a little clip of one of his battles. Hey yo, this cat can't stand me. No, we want to hand me. He'll only win this battle because his whole crowd's his family. But yo, your church is record breaker. What that mean, yo? You're the only cat that ever took 80 losses in a row. Is that how it goes on the mic? You can't got to. How you saying you serve the cat? You look just like Ja Rule. That's how it goes up on the mic. You ain't straight buzzing. The fuck Ja Rule, your flavor flame second cousin. That's how it goes. Your flowing is weak. And when you do that shit, you show me your corroded ass teeth. Always spitting my lines, thinking that he's fresher. Spitting ideas. Lies the only way you'll ever sell a record. So why'd you do that? You know I'll be crew fat. You know what? You need to take your whole fucking crew back to school. Black, that's how it goes. Pull up a stool. I'm the teacher. I'm about to wear your bitch ass out like his sneakers. UMCs to me is just geekers. This cat stays close to my dick like a beeper. He ain't even coming with the cheaper. You just lost your life by idea, the Grim Reaper. You see what I mean? This guy knows how to fucking rose people. It's it's honestly quite hilarious, like some of the things he says to <laughs> says to his opponents. And the thing is, is that like even when he gets dissed, he doesn't give a fuck. Cause you know, he's like, I don't give a fuck what you say to me, I probably think the same thing about myself. He also was part of the Blaze Battles, um, which was a huge thing back in the day, just as much as Scribble Jam. It was on HBO, it was a premium channel, which is probably where a majority of rappers got their name as far as ones who started off battling. And Idea once again won those two. But that's what I mean. You know, he didn't really care what he'd say to other people. Um, obviously he doesn't get, like, he doesn't draw the line, get, like, too offensive. But, you know, he does exactly what a rap battler should do. He's going to roast you, he's gonna get to your core, and he's gonna win. But that's what I mean. You could say whatever you want to him because he's not gonna give a fuck. And this is going to like lead into my next thing, so I'm about to talk about his studio albums and songs here in a second. But Idea wasn't the happiest person on earth, and I was shocked when I found out about that, you know, watching his interviews and like reading into his biography and even just listening to his songs. Um, he, was, he was definitely depressed, wasn't happy with just how life is in general, wasn't happy with himself or his life. He definitely was appreciative towards like how his music was, but overall it just wasn't a happy person. So that's why, like, you know, when he went to battle, he's like, I don't care what you think of me, which is actually kind of a great mindset to have. And I'm talking about, you know, not giving a fuck what people think of you, not being depressed. That's not what I meant by that. No, it's a terrible feeling. I myself have been there a little bit. But yeah, so into my next point. One day, this, uh, a little bit after I watched that slug and idea freestyle, I come home from school, I was a senior in high school, I come home from school, my one buddy, hanging out with him, who was in my rap group, same guy who introduced me to idea, was like, dude, put on your earbuds and listen to this song. Listen to this song called Even Shadows Have Shadows. It's the first studio song that I've heard by idea. And I read the lyrics along with it, because I like to do that. I like to listen to the lyrics, because I'm a lyr I, I love lyrical rap. I love lyrical music. I was a lyrical rapper myself. And boy, the deepest and darkest lyrics I've ever heard. This guy literally unfolded every layer of a human being he is in this song. And just the deepest, darkest thoughts he has. And it's honestly quite sad because this is just how he feels as a person and about life. And like you feel like he's on the verge of crying on this beat. But my god, is the rhyming spectacular. Th this is what I mean. Like anyone can just go hard on a beat, and that's what I that's what I like to do. I like to go hard on a beat, you know. I didn't get too involved in like my personal shit on a beat. Sometimes I like to, you know, like vent out my feelings, but that's all this guy did. And anytime he did it, you know, it wasn't just it wasn't a shitty song. It wasn't like, okay, you know what, good message and everything, but you know, the flow is a little bit off. No, the flow was always on point. The lyrics were always on point and had a message. He always had a message in his songs. And even Shadows Have Shadows definitely is the epitome of everything he says and anything else. And you know it's crazy because no one not a lot of people would do that. Not a lot of people would be like Alright, I'm just gonna reveal everything going through my head on this song, 
and you know not care what people think like a lot of people would be a little nervous to do that because it's hard venting like every single thing going through your head out to anybody whether it's on a song or a poem or story or even just talking to a friend or a family member whatever that's why I give him props because it's not easy to do that and another thing what's beautiful about his music is that obviously he's making music for himself as one should. You should be making music for you. You shouldn't be like, oh, I want to impress other people. I want to know what other people think. No, you should be making, you should be doing anything that makes you happy for yourself. And he, his music spoke to other people. Spoke to me too. You know, it's helped me through some hard times, but it's helped people through harder times. And what I mean by that is I would go through YouTube comments and, you know, I'm not going to disclose who these people are and, you know, exactly what they said word for word. You guys can look it up for yourselves. They're under YouTube comments. But people would say, like, you know, I was suicidal myself. I was very depressed and I was lost. And this guy's music saved me from all that. That's, that's amazing. That's really, that's truly amazing and beautiful that somebody's music and words can help somebody, can help save a life. I just think it, that's, that's another reason, a main majority reason as to why he's my favorite music artist. And that actually is like the main reason why he's a role model of mine. This guy made me want to do better with music. Like I have other favorite rappers, like for instance, the, if you can see the Palmer Squares, they're the ones who got me into like being the rapper that I became. But Idea just made me want to strive for better because I was like, man, this guy, is music he is rap like he like it dedicated his entire fucking existence to it and boy till his death did he do a great job with it so for those of you who are into old school hip-hop and lyrical rap music listen to idea i promise you you will not be disappointed whether you're into the serious stuff what that has a very poetic message or you're into a guy who loves to freestyle and battle and like just goes hard on a beat. He does it all. That's, that's what's truly amazing and that is why Idea is my favorite music artist of all time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly enjoy talking about this. Um, you know, it, it felt a little bit more freedom to like actually dive deep into like one of my biggest inspirations in life. And uh, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy his music. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely gonna, you know, do more music-related videos. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.